Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into Hillion and their potential merger with Taurus Acquisition. Also, if you like 3 free stocks and access to our private Discord chat, check the links in the description below. So guys, getting into it, we see that this company Hillion has been in the news because it's basically an electric vehicle truck company. The interesting thing with Taurus Acquisition and Hillion and why they're getting compared to Nikola Motors is because Taurus Acquisition is a special purpose acquisition company that's basically merging with Hillion, and Hillion has a similar focus in the area of electric and green trucks. So Hillion, guys, is a company that was founded by Tom Thomas Healy and it's basically creating electric and hybrid powertrains for heavy trucks. And their main focus is basically to apply hybrid and electric technology to trucks in a cost-effective way. Now, this is very interesting because the company already has two product lines. One which is actually out right now that exists, and one that's going to exist soon in the near future. So the interesting thing that I like about this company compared to Nikola Motors is the fact that we see that they have an actual existing product, right? The first that's actually existing is a powertrain that basically turns a diesel powered heavy truck into a hybrid and it increases its range and efficiency and it can be basically put onto class a trucks from major manufacturers so this is very interesting they already have this product out and this is very good for the company and its second product that's not out yet but will be out soon is its hyper truck erx and this is basically an electric drivetrain for classic trucks that doesn't require a huge battery truck that doesn't diminish the load capacity that a truck can hold so this is very big because again the hyper truck system is designed to be recharged while the truck is underway. Now, a key distinction here is that Nikola and Helion aren't exactly direct competitors. They are in a similar truck market, but right now Helion isn't planning to build complete trucks. It's basically focused on selling these powertrain solutions to existing trucks and Helion's powertrains for now are hybrids. So this is very different, right? We see that Nikola Motors does focus on hydrogen, right? And the good thing about Helion is that in the US, we already see a natural gas refueling structure, whereas hydrogen is still not in place. And that was one of the main focuses that Nikola Motors was catching on is that they needed to build a hydrogen infrastructure, which was again one of their main points in expanding their hydrogen trucks, right? So we already see Helion building upon an infrastructure that's already built, sort of. And because again they are focusing on kind of these hybrid recharging models, these hyper trucks and their powertrains can basically recharge in a matter of minutes after refueling. And this is very good because it definitely adds huge mileage to these trucks. So the key distinctions here are basically that they already are building upon an infrastructure that's built in the United States. Their battery doesn't weigh a lot and that wouldn't take away from their hauling capacity and their electric trucks can recharge while fueling for a long period of time. So guys, I think this company is nicely prepared to break into the market via this merger. Now, they are going to be outsourcing their production of these powertrains to Dana, which is an auto industry supplier. So that's good when looking at a company that might benefit from this Helion merger. And now looking closer at the deal with the merger with Tortoise, we do see that they also have a similar provision that was in the Nikola deal that I was talking about in my insider trading episode three. And we see that they also have pipe shares around $325 million of private investment and the $235 million from Tortoise acquisition. So the company will have around $560 million in cash after the deal closes to work with. And the cool thing is that Healy, the head of the company, did say this will be enough money to kind of put the Hypertruck ERX into production. Now let's look at the stock chart. Now guys, looking at the chart of Tortoise Acquisition Corp, which is going to become Helion, right? We see that the stock has popped significantly over the last few days. We popped 41% on Friday. And this is again due to the fact that many investors are comparing this to Nikola Motors. And I think it's not really a buy right now because we are extremely overextended. But one key factor that I want to show before we get into the Tortoise Acquisition Corp fully is I want to show you guys what happened when the merger was announced for Nikola Motors in the chart of Nikola Motors. So guys, look at the chart of Nikola Motors just to compare it to what's going on with Hillion right now. A few months before the stock merged and basically IPO'd, we see that the stock pumped heavily on the news of the merger between Nikola Motors and Vecto IQ. And then we see the stock dumped because investors were taking profit, right? Well, what we see over here is, again, in May, we saw huge news come out for Nikola Motors about, again, the continuation and the verification of this merger. And then we see on June 5th to June 6th, the stock then IPO'd and it basically popped 103% in one day. So the one thing I want to take away from this, I'm not saying this has to happen on Tortoise Acquisition Corp's chart, but it's really interesting to look at how investor sentiment was and where investors were putting their money and taking profits, right? So I think this could be a range where we see investors take profits because again, the merger is not set to complete until the late third quarter. So that's at least what they're saying right now. 
And we need to take this into consideration because if investors are up 100, 150% right now, they might look to start taking profits and then the stock price might get driven down over the next few weeks. So just be careful when putting your money into this. Maybe as a long-term hold, if you guys really wanna buy it now, you guys can, but personally, I'm not going into a stock when it's extremely overextended right now. Now, the key area that I'm looking at for Taurus Acquisition Corp would be around this 618 level, around the $16 mark, because we do see a lot of buy pressure coming in. And this was a heavy level of confluence in the chart, right? We see the stock popped around 30% on this day after a huge rejection from this level because of this merger news. Then we see it trend back and get heavily supported over here before ultimately popping on Friday with huge volume, right? This was a huge volume candle, guys, and many investors came in. I see two levels right now. The $16 mark, which can act as a potential level of support because we see the 20 exponential moving average creeping up into here. And I would expect over the next few days, if we see investors take profits, the 20 exponential moving average would be around this area. And that could be an area where we do find support because again, heavy buy pressure coming in on these two days and a confluence level along this line. Also, the 0.5 level on the Fibonacci sequence, because again, the 618 level is the area that we like to look at for a potential rebound. But if investors are itchy to get in, the 0.5 level can also act as a level of support as well. So around the 18 to $16 mark is where I'd be looking to ladder in buys if I wanted to go long on Taurus Acquisition Corp for a potential bounce. Maybe even to hold it if you guys really want to hold this company into the merger. But I don't know if we could see a significant drop, just as we saw in Nikola Motor Stock, where it popped to around 20 something dollars and then pulled back significantly significantly down back to where it was almost trading before the pop right so it can pop back into this region guys but if you guys are really bullish on the stock and you guys believe in this company and the promising factor that they have a product out in the market right now you guys can ladder in into this area and hold for the long term but personally i would be looking to maybe bounce this trade in the short term so overall guys if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe it really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm thank you guys for watching and have a great one